well welcome to the code cool today i'm going to talk on one very interesting topic that what is the difference between angular 2 angular 4 angular 5 many of the people are asking this question to us please tell us what is the difference exact difference so let us start from the change log so change log is this this is a angular change log if you can see this angular change log here you will find what is exact new version is what version need to be updated and related to this everything would be here you can get it so i have created one board from this here you would be getting exact differences between angular 2 angular 4 angular 5 what i think as a programmer there is a no many differences in the 4 and 5 or angular 2 and 4 these are just semantic versioning so then then you will ask one question why not angular 3 why directly angular 4 so angular 3 is related to some router versioning so they they release the router which is nothing but the already in the third position and that's why they directly launch the angular 4 So as a programmer you don't need to worry about all that things what do you need to think what are the features so if you concentrate on the features what angular 2 provides or how angular 1 and angular 2 are different if you are a angular 1 developer and if you want to switch to the angular 2 very first thing is that there is a no scope dollar scope that has been removed completely from angular 2 one more thing what i want to say If you want to learn the Angular 2, you don't need to bother about Angular 1 because Angular 2 is completely different. So here are some features I have mentioned, and in the code as well, you will find many things like ng4 has been little bit changed in the Angular 4. In the Angular 2, it was a plain, but in the Angular 4, they have added something called as 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 keyword. Means you can do something like this. Here you can say index. sorry index adds in or i that's possible so there's add support that has been added in the angular 4 then related to the module here are some some things are there if you remember we were importing the forms module for ng module right so we were sorry we were directly using the forms module right that was a part of angular core and nowadays forms module is a part of angular forms so likewise many little aspects are there that has been changed so angular 2 gives you dependency injection decorators child injectors instance scopes dynamic loading templating directives child routes guards design logging and the scope so so these are the prominent features of angular ecosystem right then suddenly angular 4 came when your angular 4 came not lot many features has been changed so underlying changes at the compiler level that has been done then in the angular 4 very very important thing is that angular universal now what's the angular universal angular universal is that thing if you want to make your angular 5 application seo friendly right you would be needing angular universal let me show you something about the angular universal just go to the google and find out angular universal so you will find angular universal why it has been used angular universal this better performance than optimized for the search engines and the site preview whenever you talk about angular application whenever you talk about angular application first thing is the load time right and if you want to reduce the load time you need to use angular universal over here so something like that and afterwards you will find there are something related to the typescript 2.1 and typescript 2.2 so typescript has been upgraded so previously it was 1.8 now they have supported to work with the typescript 2 right so that was a little bit what you can say that was a little bit improvement in the angular 4 right so most of the improvements in the angular 4 are related to the compiler level code levels are also there but you don't need to bother about because whatever 
code you are going to type in angular 4 or 4 that would be compatible with the angular 2 as well so if, if you have written some code in angular 2 same code would be running in the appli angular 4 that's not an issue well ng else so when you when you talk about ng if there was no else block then the else block has been added in the angular 4 there is a main main support that have given well the animation package has been changed now angular has given you at angular animation new package right and here are some things which are available now in the angular 5 so the build optimizer then angular universal state transfer api now what do you mean by state transfer so if you talk about the angular universal architecture so client will come with the server side rendering right one server would be there which would be rendering all the pages and your clients would be communicating with that server well in that case if your application is communicating with the web api so your angular rendering server should speak with the web api instead of directly client and that is related to the state transfer you can you can check it so just go through the angular universal or you can subscribe or you can subscribe our code cool channel to get latest episodes on the angular universal and the seo well you can get the paid support as well we we do run the classroom trainings we do run the online trainings as as well if you want to get that support right kindly communi communicate with us on the codecool.com that's fine so compiler improvements are also there typescript has been changed something related preserve white spaces then decorator support has been improved they have given some internationalized number date and currency pipe well they have added title case pipe as well right and and something related to the dependency injectors here replace the reflective injector with the static injectors then zone seed improvements export as HTTP client this is this is very important if you talk about the angular 5 HTTP client earlier we were using the only HTTP package but now we are going to use the common and the HTTP package let me show you that so here whenever you go inside whenever you go inside any of the module I have created so this is a angular architecture it is a modular architecture a typically and here you can see can you see HTTP client module so HTTP client module is now from the common package that is the important change and if you look at the service well if you look at the service into the service as well you will find the HTTP client instead of only HTTP it is HTTP client from the HTTP common package so changes or the improvements see angular 245 angular was the what you can say huge release angular 2 was the release where maximum things has been changed right so from angular 1 to the angular 2 that was a big shift from but from angular 2 to 4 4 to 5 it is not like that these are the simple things if you know angular right or if you're if you're writing angular into the if you're writing application into the angular 2 that would be running on the 4 as well as on the 5 that's that that's not an issue so here are some prominent changes so there are many changes like renderer renderer has been replaced by the renderer 2 that i will cover in detail or kindly subscribe our channel for the episodes more episodes on the angular well keep watching kindly subscribe the code cool channel and give us support right if you need some kind of paid support kindly communicate with us on the codecool.com kindly watch our another series we we are we are providing lot many episodes on the android on the angular on the game development on the spring on the node on the back end on the apple everything is available to you on the codecool.com well once again thanks for watching and the happy new year